Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. So I'd like to finish up this uh, demonstration on uh, using uh, Revolt features, uh, using splines. And this is our video number four in our series. And so what we've done in the previous uh, videos is we've done a very basic um, uh, Revolt feature using splines in the first video. Just went through a real quick uh, rendering of the model itself. When I'm talking about rendering, I'm actually talking about the actual uh, production of that model. And then in uh, the next two videos, we talked about uh, manipulating the splines, getting something that's a little bit more realistic, uh, trying to smooth out the curves of the spline, too. So we're in the process now. We're about ready to uh, make an offset of this spline and put it on the inside to represent the inside edge of our wine glass. And then uh, we're going to finish up the bottom here, uh, put an arc across the top in order to collect, uh, connect those two offset entities. And then we're going to go ahead and finish this by uh, completing uh, the rendering uh, function of this, uh, of this tool. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the offset. We're going to make it about an eighth of an inch. So it's already set in there because I played with this a little bit earlier. And we're going to offset it to the inside. And bang. And just to show you how that works, if we were to take one of these, uh, these spline points and move it around, the offset goes with it. One thing you notice about the offset line, it looks black even though it's movable. You can take that line and actually move it around, but that line is influenced by other things. So that's the reason why it's black. It's actually fully defined per the spline line here. So in order for you to make manipulations to this line here, the spline out here, you have to manipulate the spline itself. So the spline itself is still blue. Still underdefined. Um, and uh, the the offset line for that spline is fully defined to the spline itself, if that makes sense. So I'm going to smooth that out because it looks like we have a little bit of a bump down here. Let's go ahead and complete this by putting in yet one more spline from this point. It'll add a couple points along the way too until we get to that center line. Right click and spline. One thing you might want to do is make a, a horizontal center line here. So when this line comes up to a point up here, kind of comes up to a little bit of a hill or maybe into a dip, if we make that tangent right there, it will actually come in uh, relatively smooth and it'll look like a nice flat bottom. So these two points, these two lines here at that point, you can't put tangent in there. You might be able to get away with tangent, but you certainly can't do equal curvature. Because what it's going to do is it's going to fail on you. What it's trying to do with equal curvature is it's trying to smooth out this curve over here to that curve over here. And we can't change this curve because it's fully defined in reference to that line. So it's not going to let us do that. So let's go ahead and uh, delete those two elements. And we should be back to where we were before. What we can do here, and I don't think a uh, tangency will allow us to do that either, unless we get this really close. Even then, I don't think it will allow us to do it. But if we click on those two elements, go to tangency, it still doesn't like that. So let's do quick, uh, go to control Z. And we're just going to adjust that manually. Perhaps in another model, you might consider, uh, in regard to the offset, um, perhaps something to terminate a little bit closer down here so we can actually terminate it with a uh, trim line. But anyways, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and put a uh, top on this. Let's go to tangent arc. Connect that endpoint line to that endpoint line. Make these two tangent. And it looks like we're all set. So, let's go to revolve by space features. And yes, we do want to automatically close it. Access revolution is going to be this one. And there we go. Yeah. Still Flintstone-like because of his gray appearance. And the curves aren't quite right down here too, but it's something you might want to fuss with on your own. But in a way, this gets a pretty decent um, rendition of what we're trying to look for, what we're trying to model here. And with some additional variations to our points and our spline and some of the other uh, capabilities that spline gives you, you should be able to get a pretty decent model. So thank you for joining me. We will see you in other films.